The year was 2015. The date, June 17th. A young white supremacist walked into the Emanuel African Methodist Episcopal Church in Charleston, South Carolina. This house of worship, a beacon of black faith and resilience, became a scene of unimaginable horror. Nine innocent souls gathered for Bible study were gunned down in cold blood. The nation reeled in shock and grief. Photos of the killer, Dylan Roof, posing with the Confederate flag surfaced online. This ignited a firestorm of debate about the flag's true meaning and its place in modern society. The Charleston shooting ripped open old wounds of racism and prejudice. The image of the gunman draped in the Confederate flag became seared into the nation's consciousness. The question became, what did the Confederate flag truly stand for? And what message did it send, particularly to black Americans? To understand the controversy, we must journey back in time. The Confederate flag, often called the Stars and Bars, wasn't the official flag of the Confederate States of America during the Civil War. It was a battle flag, flown by Confederate troops on the battlefields where brother fought brother. The Confederacy's reason for fighting was clear, to preserve the institution of slavery. After the Confederacy's defeat in 1865, the flag largely disappeared from public view. However, the 20th century saw its resurgence. During the Civil Rights Movement, it became a symbol of resistance to desegregation and equal rights for black Americans. For many black Americans, the Confederate flag is a painful reminder of this dark chapter. It represents the brutal legacy of slavery, segregation, and white supremacy. This dichotomy of perspectives lies at the heart of the Confederate flag debate. The Confederate flag occupies a complex and contested space in American culture. For some, it embodies a romanticized vision of the past, a time of Southern gallantry and resistance against Northern aggression. They argue it represents their regional identity and pride in their Southern roots. However, this perspective ignores the flag's undeniable connection to slavery and white supremacy. The Confederacy seceded from the Union to protect the institution of slavery. For many black Americans and their allies, the flag is a potent symbol of racial hatred and oppression. It serves as a constant reminder of the systemic racism that continues to plague American society. The debate often centers around intent versus impact. The impact of the symbol, regardless of intent, is undeniable. The Charleston shooting served as a catalyst for a national conversation about race, history, and the power of symbols. It forced many Americans to confront their own biases and assumptions about the Confederate flag. The shooting and its aftermath brought to light the stories of individuals whose perspectives on the flag had evolved over time. People who once saw it as a benign symbol of Southern heritage began to grapple with its more troubling connotations. They listened to the voices of black Americans who shared their pain and explained why the flag was so offensive. This period of national reflection highlighted the importance of empathy and understanding in bridging divides. The stories of Bree Newsom and Josh Clark exemplify this shift in consciousness. Their experiences provide a glimpse into the complexities of the Confederate flag debate and the potential for personal growth and societal change. In the wake of the Charleston shooting, I decided to take a stand. On June 27, 2015, I scaled a 30-foot flagpole outside the South Carolina State House. With unwavering determination, I removed the Confederate flag, an act captured on video that quickly went viral. My act of defiance resonated deeply with many Americans, particularly black Americans who had long viewed the flag as a symbol of oppression. My bravery in the face of potential arrest and violence galvanized a movement. It gave voice to those demanding the flag's permanent removal from state grounds. My actions sparked a national conversation about race, history, and the role of symbols in perpetuating injustice. My story serves as a reminder that the fight for equality is far from over, and that ordinary citizens have the power to make extraordinary contributions to the pursuit of justice. Josh Clark, a white man who grew up in North Carolina, had a different journey. I was raised to see the Confederate flag as a symbol of Southern pride and heritage. I even had one tattooed on my arm as a teenager. However, the Charleston shooting forced me to confront the flag's painful legacy. I listened to the stories of black Americans who shared their fear and anger at seeing the flag displayed. I began to understand that what I saw as heritage, others saw as hatred. This realization sparked a profound change in my heart. 
I decided to have my Confederate flag tattoo removed, a painful process that symbolized my own internal transformation. My story demonstrates that empathy can be a powerful catalyst for change. It shows that it's never too late to learn, grow, and challenge our own deeply held beliefs. The outpouring of grief and anger after the Charleston shooting led to a wave of activism across the United States. People demanded the removal of Confederate symbols from public spaces, arguing that they had no place in a society striving for equality and justice. In South Carolina, the pressure to act was immense. The Confederate flag had flown above the State House since 1962, a symbol of resistance to the civil rights movement. After weeks of debate and protests, the South Carolina legislature voted to remove the Confederate flag from the State House grounds. On July 10th, 2015, the flag was lowered for the last time, a historic moment that marked a turning point in the state's long and troubled history with race. The removal of the flag was a significant victory for civil rights activists. However, the debate over the Confederate flag and its legacy is far from over. The debate over the Confederate flag is just one example of a much larger conversation happening across the globe. How do societies reconcile with their past, particularly when that past is marked by injustice and oppression? Monuments to Confederate leaders, slaveholders and colonizers have been the subject of intense scrutiny and debate. Many argue that these statues and memorials glorify a painful past and perpetuate harmful narratives about race and power. Others contend that removing them amounts to erasing history. There are no easy answers to these questions. History is complex and often messy. It is essential to remember and learn from the past, even the painful parts. However, how we choose to remember matters. Symbols have power and we must be mindful of the messages they convey. The debate over Confederate symbols is not just about the past. It's about the present and the future we want to create. It's about acknowledging the pain and suffering caused by racism and working to dismantle the systems that perpetuate it. Remembering the past is essential, but it must be done in a way that fosters understanding and promotes justice. It's not about erasing history, but about telling a more complete and accurate story. Education plays a crucial role in this process. By teaching students about the complexities of history, we can help them develop critical thinking skills and a nuanced understanding of the past. Museums, cultural institutions and public spaces can also serve as sites for dialogue and reflection. The journey towards a more just and equitable society requires a willingness to confront uncomfortable truths and to engage in open and honest dialogue. The Confederate flag debate, like many issues related to race and identity, can be fraught with tension and emotion. It's easy to retreat into our own corners, clinging to our beliefs and demonizing those who disagree. However, real progress requires us to step outside of our comfort zones and engage in meaningful dialogue. Dialogue is not about winning or losing an argument. It's about listening with empathy, seeking to understand different perspectives and finding common ground. It's about acknowledging the humanity of those with whom we disagree, even when we find their views abhorrent. Creating spaces for productive dialogue can be challenging. It requires a willingness to be vulnerable, to admit when we don't have all the answers, and to be open to changing our minds. Building a more just and equitable future requires us to move beyond simplistic narratives and engage in the messy and challenging work of dialogue. The Confederate flag debate is a microcosm of the larger struggle for racial justice in America. It's a reminder that the legacy of slavery and segregation continues to cast a long shadow over our nation. It's a call to action to confront systemic racism and work towards a more equitable future. The journey towards justice is not easy. It requires courage, compassion, and an unwavering commitment to equality. The stories of Bree Newsom, Josh Clark, and countless others remind us that change is possible. They inspire us to continue the fight for a more just and compassionate world. Let us move forward with hope, determination and an unwavering commitment to justice for all.